Welcome back to Rem TV and welcome back to my LB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. And I've got some great, great news for me or for you too. I added somebody on the pitching staff that the Mets are actually talking to right now. And it's this man right here, Dallas Keuchel. He's still a free agent in real life. I know he's not as, I mean, he's still great, but he's not as good as he used to be. But I just signed him to contract. I am ecstatic to have him on the team to add uh, some more depth in my starting pitching. Look at this! Look, look at this pitching rotation. We got the Grom, Syndergaard, Wheeler, Mats, Keuchel. Holy crap! So now we have these guys here. We have an amazing, amazing starting rotation, and we're gonna actually play him for the first game here. His first game as a Met during this uh, interleague play against the Twins, who is three and five. So I'll see you guys in New York. Execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come on blue. Maybe double play ball. At second. Out of first. As a double play to start the game, Cano to Rosario to Alonso. Two and two to Nelson Cruz. Oh, what a fancy little cutscene looking thing there. Got him swinging with a cutter. To base it for Alonso, and he is off to a great start in his rookie year. Gonna be batting over 300 so after that hit. Joanna drives it to deep left center field. This is gonna be a no doubter. It's a home run. That was a two run shot by Joanna Cespedes. That's the second of the year, and hopefully this kind of brings him out of that funk because he has been in a weird, weird slump, batting under 200. Now, that is a two run shot for Yo. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And he, looks at a he got him looking with a cutter. Kaiko looking pretty good. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, guys, anytime you start a road trip, first five games you start one and four. You're just trying to Ooh, That's going to be safe at first. So there's Jed Lowry. With a base hit of the deflection by the second baseman. Kind of got a little speechless because I didn't know how to call it yet. But yeah, he is safe at first. They've got runners on second and third, and a base hit will drive in a pair. Ooh, he caught it. That is going to be driven in as Ramos trots on home after an amazing catch, actually. So it's 3 0 match here in the second inning. Side squeeze. He's out at first. That run is driven in with a bunt, so that's a sacrifice play and an RBI. So it's 4 0 Mets here in the second inning. Good bunt by Keiko to avoid any possible throw to home base to get Lowry out. Is that another blooper for Alonzo? Yes, it is. That's a 2 for 2 game for Alonzo so far. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make. Uh, not it's gonna be a base hit for Conforto. Hitting the wall is hit way too hard, so it's gonna be a single. Michael Conforto in the fourth inning. Here's the two-two. Liner toward. There you go. That's a base hit. And that's in there. Base hit. It's going to drive in a run, at least a run. It's an RBI single from Med Rosario. It's going to be 5-0 Mets. It's going to be another sacrifice play for Keiko. It's going to be 6-0 Mets. All right. With the lead a little bit more opened up, he still decides to go for a sacrifice bunt. That is another RBI from 
for Keiko. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Going to Cano, and he catches it over his shoulder. Great play by Cano to get Torres Reyes. Alonso with another base hit. That's his third base hit of the game, back three for three with three singles. Peter Alonso looking great with his bat right now, proving that he can be possibly the rookie of the year this year. Got him with a slider. Wow, throws so knowing that outside strike, uh, the slider, and that is Keiko's third strike out of the game. Two men on one and two to Rosario. Got him with another slider. And that is back to back strikeouts for Keiko, and that is the end of the inning. Oh, he almost can't catch it. That's going to drive a run, and I think they're going to play that as a base hit. I'm not. 100% sure. Let's see the count. Let's see the call here. That is an RBI double for Jorge Polanco. Polanco. And he does. He's 4 for 4 with 4 singles. That's a 4 hit game for the rookie. Put it in the book. The ball game is over and the Mets win 6 to 1 behind the bats of Alonzo. You want to assess what it is. And of course, the pitching from the debut of Dallas Keuchel. Uh, he had his, he had a big impact, shutting things down. Didn't give up a, a decent amount of, a handful of hits. But it was just his effort to get out of jams, to get out of situations that helped the Mets prevail with this win. That's a great debut for uh, Keuchel and the Mets. I'm excited to have this rotation out there, man. Going six innings, six hits, four strikeouts, one earned run, and two walks. Uh, but we have Jed Lowry to play the game with uh, two singles and a walk. I honestly would have made Peter Alonso the play the game going four for four. Uh, but that's the confused decision. But anyway, uh, we're going to continue on and check out what game we're going to play next for the next video. All right, so we got the next game to win the series against the, the, the Twins. We have Jacob DeGrom against Tyler Duffy. We're just going to sim this, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll win this. And we, and let's see, Juan Lugar got injured for one to two weeks, what else is new? But Jacob DeGrom gets the win. Uh, let's take a look at the box score here. We got a home run from uh, Cano, that's his first as a Met. Lowry with the second home of the year and in terms of pitching. With the ground going eight innings, four hits, two earned runs, two strikeouts, and three walks. I mean, eight strikeouts and three walks. Next game we're gonna be playing is in Atlanta. Oh. And we're gonna sim this game. Okay, this is the. I just sim this game here. And we got Noah Stone Guard winning. 2-1, to one, going for a second one of the year. Uh, I think we ended up having a home run with Robinson Cano. It's a two-run home run. And in terms of pitching, uh, Syndergaard went six in the third inning with eight strikeouts, giving up only uh, what is that? an earned run and a hold each for Wilson and Familia. And Diaz with his fourth save of the season, giving up one hit. Next of the four game series against Atlanta, we're going to have Zach Wheeler against Sean Newcomb. Uh, he, Newcomb is 0-2, Wheeler's 1-1 one one with a 9.39 ERA, so we try to bring that down. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to continue this season. I'm excited that you guys can continue watching it. Thank you so much for your support. If you like what you saw, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least five to six likes for this video. That's my goal for this. And uh, leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy, and peace.